Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Western Illinois Leathernecks and the Wisconsin Badgers. Number 32 is provides valuable leadership as an upperclassman. He shows the grand determination of an upperclassman, Brad. The Badgers will see that their offense goes through him tonight, Dick. The Badgers should be able to run away with this one, Dick Vitale. Hey, what are the keys for them doing so? The keys are pretty simple, Brad. First of all, make sure you take care of the rock. Turnovers kill momentum. Next, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. Finally, don't be passive defensively. Be the initiator and force them to do things they don't want to do offensively. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. They work the perimeter. For two, it's good. They move it into the front court. Number 45 gets the pass. Goes up for two. Now trying to feed the low block. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Trying to feed the low block. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Can't get the shot to go. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. On the outside, the power forward gets the ball. Trying to draw the foul. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Up and inside. The power forward takes the feed. Tries for two. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. He's got to move the ball. The center with the ball. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Turns it over. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Leans in. Wisconsin have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. With a bucket. Perfectly executed. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Down inside, he fakes the shot, and he'll kick it back outside from downtown. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fellow seems to be their only hope at the moment. Right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Makes the shot. The ball goes out of bounds. They go into the low block. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He shoots from the top of the key. Sinks it. They'll work it around the arc. He strokes it. He gets it to go. And momentary look from three-point land. Puts it up, looking for contact. Great play to take that to the basket. Stolen away. 
turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. The power forward takes the pass. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have great post play, you got a chance to really to win. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. He shoots from the top of the circle. Goes. Picked out of the air. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Now they work it around the perimeter. There's the pick. Easy one. Gives it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Reese, pump fakes. Gave it up for two. Perfectly executed. They work the perimeter on the dribble. Gives it up. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. The fake. Executes the baby hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Reese is trying to get the crowd involved now. He's asking for a bit more on the next possession. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of it with a rejection. That's a great shot, man. He's like the human race. He says, get that baby out of the lane. Trying to draw some contact. And he scores despite the hat. A double team. Royster is eager and excited to compete. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. He looks at the hoop. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Pushing that basketball. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. A little frustration right there. Tries for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Picks off the pass. Dump it inside. Looking for contact. 
They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Look at that spacing. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He hits it. Two drops the bucket despite the harm. He attempts the three, tickles a twine. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Gave it up with the fake on the dribble. Gives it up. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely. Academy Award at its best. Steals a pass. the perimeter good fake gave it up goes up for two perfectly executed they'll work it around the arc nice fake the ball goes out of play let's go to the third member of our broadcast team here's Aaron Andrews Brad and Dick, there is a sense of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff fears if the other players don't get involved soon, it may be too late. He keeps stressing to his team, I can't do this by myself, so help me out. We'll have to continue to monitor this one, guys, along the way. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Moving it around the perimeter. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call there. I did a good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Tries for two. They still don't score. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. Madison, Wisconsin is going crazy. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Tries one. 
from three-point land. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here on transition, Brad. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows them to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Momentary look from three-point land. And now they'll bring it up. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Got to think right there. Got to focus defensively. Ten seconds to put it up. Got an open look if he wants it. And the ball goes out of play. Now they work it around the perimeter. For the bucket. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Number three is charged with the foul. Second team foul. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. The Badgers are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. He's a three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. If they can get a basket here, Dick, this crowd will erupt. Up and inside! On the dribble, gives it up. Fake. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Fakes it. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Got a guy right on him. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Ball goes out of bounds. Gave it up. For the bucket. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Spencer comes up with it. They get out on the break. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? <laughs> Looking for a good shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc. Looking for the open jumper. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. On the dribble, gives it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. For two. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Great anticipation defensively. Less 
attention to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Hey, pin the ball. He makes the block. On the outside. In the paint. Takes it off him. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Picks off the lazy pass. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Great play to take that to the basket. Now they work it around the perimeter. The Badgers have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Oh, we got to replay that one. The Badgers have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They work it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He nails the bucket. At the end of the first half, the Leathernecks are trailing by six. It's a close one, folks. What have you got, Dick, as your play of the half? Watch some of the great inside work in the first half, Brad. The trick is whether or not they can keep going inside like that in the second half. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. Wisconsin showed dominance on the boards, Dick, in the first half. Yeah, and therefore they control the game. Rebound and wins games, my friend. Focus player update, Dick Vitales, going into the second half. What does he need to do? I think they're going to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The center has gone wild. Madison, Wisconsin is going crazy. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries for two, and he scores it off the glass. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. For the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. shoulders down there and I think the defense is winning Dick. I tell you doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught and this kid has responded in a positive way. Looking for a screen on top and got it. 
He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. The crowd really admires this young man. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Nice shot. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They work the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. He blocks the shot. The ball goes out of play. Nick, look at the number of points on turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Dumps it in. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him and let's see what happens. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Got some room. He throws it up from downtown. Off the rim and no good. Basket falls despite the contact. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Robs him of the ball. They run it up into transition. Western Illinois are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Number three steals the ball. Goes up for two. There was no doubt about that one. Looking for a good shot. And he'll kick it back outside. For three, drains it. Defense extending the old game long. There's that pressure on the ball. The turn of fadeaway jumper. I tell you, you'll be exceptional to make that shot. Because a lot of coaches don't like it because you're going away. You're not in rebound position. You better make it count. On the outside. He takes the shot off the baseline. He buries it. King is trying to pump up the crowd. He wants the crowd up and out of their seats for the next possession. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Double team now, bad angle. He goes for three. It sticks. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. That was nice. Yeah. 
College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And all the way on the baseline, now the kick out. He takes the shot from the baseline. <laughs> For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. Listen to that roar, it's unbelievable. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Tries for two. He gets that one to fall. Stolen. What a great strip. Joseph pounded on his way up. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. Nothing but rim. He cleans the glass. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job by the defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He shoots from the baseline. Drains the shot. Tries to knock down the three. He gets the shot to fall. He shoots from left of the circle. That's good. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Defense, 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 defense. For the bucket, and in and out. From the top of the key, way off target. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. They look like they're having a blast. Working around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Great shot. Wow, can we get slow-mo, please? They work it back to the outside. And the ball goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. On the dribble, gives it up for two. 
great play to take that to the basket. The ball goes out of bounds. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's the trap. And one too many dribbles and a steal. He brought the ball back down to the floor and he stripped them. Goes up for two. Buried it. The replay will give us a better look. Great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Spencer has been negatively influenced by his play and the events which have unfolded here. Yeah, it's unfortunate to see this, Brad. I feel for him. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I'll tell you, he tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. On the dribble, gives it up. There he is, strips the ball loose. He takes the shot off the baseline. Off the rim, and no good. Goes in. Look at this, Mr. Nestle. He has a little something for the opposition. That, to me, is a no-no. He goes to the line for the first time. Misses the free one. Front work, to me, that's all rebound it is. Get your body between the hoop and your man and block out. Well, Dick, you said it many times before. The crowd is quite capable of being that X factor, and they have been that and so much more. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. The Badgers lead by six. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Gave it up. Ten on the shot clock. On the dribble, gives it up. From right at the circle, way off target. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. For the bucket. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Here's a double team. Taken away. They push it up on the break. For two. 
They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Look at that spacing. There's a double team waiting there. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Contact cause it. That bucket counts, and he'll go to the line. Hey, excellent job there. Drawing the foul and finishing the hoop. With the freebie. Rims off. He gets the rebound. Looking for a good shot. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Come with a double team to stop it. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. On the top of the circle. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. The center is going crazy. Madison, Wisconsin is going crazy. Gotta take some flight on a defensive end. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Way off target. And he scores despite the hack. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, 10 points, 20 points, it doesn't matter. Up and inside. With a deep shot from outside. 
Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Here's the three ball. Tickles a twine. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. ready to start again. From right in the circle, gets it to go. Strips the ball. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high rising. The power forward takes the pass. Time to pick up the defense here now. The power forward handles the pass. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. Gave it up. Steals the pass. Our focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. Well, I'll tell you, nine out of ten times, if the focus player plays well, you're going to get to the winner's circle. Take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Wisconsin simply blew this team away tonight. With the difference in these two teams' rankings, the win was pretty much a foregone conclusion. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. <laughs>